right. Okay. It's the yeah. shoe show, people. <laughs> it's the shoe show. Joe's favorite of oh, all time. I love shoes. These are some of my favorite Nikes right here. Look at these suckers. These He's were limited worse than edition. a woman. Custom Air Force Ones. Look at those suckers. See that? Had them built just for me, size 13. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Got those babies. You did not well, have those made just for you. Yes, I did. Absolutely, I did. And then look at these, Kevlar. Can you kind of see that? Kevlar? Isn't that fun stuff? Well, they look like they're, yeah, they're like white, right? Or gray. Well, you know, I mean, they look like Kevlar. Oh, or not Kevlar. No, or, yeah, it's going to say I forget whatever that stuff is. They can put on hoods of cars. What is that? Carbon fiber. Said the wrong word, people. I was wondering when you said that. I Sorry. thought, yeah, you can't shoot at this. And then there's camouflage on the inside, if you can see that. See, look at that. Yeah. Oh, this is the shoe show. I think Good I've, times for Jim. Look at toes aren't broke. That's a big deal to me. Toes not broke. This toe is kind of broke. See that? That's a sad day when you start breaking the toe. Yeah. That's not good. The collection value goes way down on that thing. Welcome, everybody. How's your lives? I know. Everybody doing okay? All right. Michael Scott's here. We were, out, we were out Enjoy in the public the today. Let's see if we're on. Oh, he didn't realize your shoe your fetish was that crazy. Who, who said that? Michael Scott. Oh, Michael, it's going to get worse. Just hold on, buddy. What a big shoe, It Jim. says shoe. Linda Putt said. Really big Hi, shoe Linda. show. Oh, is Linda already out for the... Uh, she's already out trying to get the big uh, the big points. The big point? Oh, yeah. As a top fan? Yeah, as the top fan. Yeah. yeah. Is she a top fan? I think she is. I right? don't know. You can see that. I can't oh, see that. Oh, that's right. Well, I can't see nothing right now. It's not popping up with us on the live show yet. So I don't know what the heck I got to tell you guys, he's been so excited about today. Oh, are we broadcasting on both Jim Peters and the Jim Peters? Yeah, I think are so. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Can't find it. You can't find it. Nope, that don't mean nothing. That's just We me. came in and took our shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> really? That's what Pandora said. Oh. Hi, Pandora. Hi, Pandora. We love you, Pandora. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know where it is. I don't you know don't, where we are. You'll kind of find it. I can't no. find it, but just keep talking. All right, well, why don't you... Oh, the other Beth is here. Oh, the other Beth? Okay, yes. there we are. I found it on this one. Oh, there JJ's we are. here. Hi, JJ. JJ! Oh, JJ, I don't know if he was late. Linda so I'll show him again. she's a top fan. JJ, look at, look at that beauty. Huh? Size 13, so suckers. Look at that. Huh? Oh, it still smells new. I showed this one, which is the carbon fiber one. Custom made both of those, JJ. Look at the toe is not broke. JJ, I know you're big into that. Once you start wearing them a lot, you break the toe. No, no, the toe broke. <laughs> And then another <laughs> pair of my absolute favorites is okay. custom made these things. I think I had them done in Korea. SpongeBob Air Force Ones. Got some mileage on them. Got some mileage. Mostly stage miles, i got to be honest. Just playing on stage. But look at that. Isn't that cool? What did you do? Take them off the minute you got off the stage? <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't know that? Of course. Yes. In the dressing room, you put these suckers on. You walk onto the stage. You come off the stage. Poom. Back but in the closet. Nobody can see that. Nobody can see that SpongeBob from. It's the emotional. But feel. you knew. I you knew. You knew. Little kids can see it because little kids have laser there vision. There you go. Don't they? Yes. That's right. Exactly. All right. Let's see now. The Jim Peters. Let's see if you're rolling there. Have you got it? I think so. Something went wrong. Honey, Please you're try not again. even a top fan of you. What? I'm not even my own <laughs> top fan. People, this is not cool. Oh, this is awesome. Okay. Another shoe. Lydell said shoe scooter boogie. Oh, fun? yeah. Okay. Oh, here it goes. All right. Here it is, Lydell. Can you guys see the design on that? You got to check that out. This is Pac-Man. Oh! Oh. Oh. Man down. <laughs> Can we all pause for just a moment? Oh. Because something went wrong with that shoe. Holder. I'll tell you what. You play with your shoes and I'll see if see I can. See if you can find it. I, on there. I, oh, 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 I think I got it now. Okay. Okay, you talk. Right. Okay. <sighs> there we are. You guys, he really does. He has more shoes than I do. I think I have 85 pair. Yeah. 85 so, pair of shoes? I think it's 85. All right, you ready to roll the gym shoe closet? We are opening the vault one time only. I didn't know only. You had that many. One shoes. time only. <laughs> That's right. The shoe vault is being opened. Can you hear it? <laughs> All right, ready? All right. Hit it. All right, hang on. Hang or on. hit it. There it is. He hit it. Look at these are my shoes. Ugh. Oh yeah, scooter. Look at Man that. Superman. I got two Superman. Look at those are T Rex. Oh, Star Wars limited edition. Another Star Wars. Flintstones oh. in there. Flintstones in there. Yep. Look at there. Oh, those are from our oh, wedding. From our wedding. Yep. There you go. Converse T Rex up on the top. You don't have your oh. light up shoes in there. Oh, really, honey? 
They were in there. You just missed it. <laughs> okay, JJ. These suckers. Look at them. 13s, baby. No brand. These are an off-brand, but there's a reason they're an off-brand, people. There's a reason they're an off-brand. Because not just anybody sells lighter no. shoes. Oh, man. If they went dead, I would be really pissed. Well, one side. Oh, there they go. There we go. There that, we go. Hold on. Hold on. Might, people could have a seizure. Uh, Should we have a warning before getting, you start no, lighting no, these up? No, no. It gets better. Just you be quiet. You're uh -huh. not... I'm going to see. I'm you should see. talk among. See, here it is. See, I think they're all they speechless. They stay lit. You can make them solid. So when you're running through the woods, the bears can't see you. <laughs> you confuse the bears. Because Jim runs through the woods so See that? Can so you see often. that, people? Look at that, people. That is really cool. I don't care who you are. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> Okay, yeah. either they're speechless or something's wrong because I'm not getting anything. Aren't you? I got a lot. JJ's going to raid your closet. We have Julie Richards watching. Julie, you have a shoe in the contest tonight. Julie Richards had the one, uh, the San Diego Padres shoe. Oh. And she showed it at a baseball game. That was, was very cool. Very cool. cool. Yeah. Yep. While I was working, he was kept showing me all the pictures. Yep. He's like, look at these. Yeah, there you go. All right. All right. All right. We got two strings around in here. Julie, Rebecca, Julie is watching. And uh, Michael Scott, Pac-Man. Now, Michael, are you on the right page or am I on the wrong page? You should be on the... She oh, meters. shoes that light up. Yeah, see? Pandora's going to process that. <laughs> Knock it off, Pandora. I know. This took years of collecting. <sighs> he right. really only wears like three pair of shoes. Let's Shut it. Be, isn't that the truth? Well, well there's some of he these wears, that have like, not been worn. Pair. Okay, I got Those, he's, The other ones he's had literally for years. A lot of the old fans of mine will appreciate these shoes. Okay. okay? Because these shoes were bought by Debbie the the my birthday before she died. She died in oh, September. I didn't know that. And she bought me these in April. I've never worn them. Oh, I yeah. didn't know that. I just didn't want to ever wear them. I thought they were really cool. So she bought me those. And Aww. so I keep those in my closet, kind of a memorial to her. Isn't that fun, though? They're really cool. Yeah, They're all really woven. Fun, babe. Yep, she bought me those. Very fun. Yeah. So there you go. There's those. We got a whole bunch of newbies watching tonight. Vicki Daggett's watching. Marianne <laughs> Atland is watching. Leonard Straczynski is watching. Michael Scott is on the wrong channel, I think. He said he just clicked the first link he saw. Oh, geez, Michael. Now you're on the wrong one. And the other Beth is watching. Don't rob a bank and wear those light up shoes. Oh, funny, Beth. Real funny. Pandora says that's such a bright idea. <laughs> those aren't really sarcastic <laughs> lines, Pandora. We're I not giving those you. Those were good lines. Were they? Do we yeah. have it? Actually, um,. Uh, Linda had a pretty good line coming out of the shoot, but I don't remember what it was because oh, I was all nervous about the program. What a big shoe? Yeah, what a big shoe. Really big shoe. That's right. What all right, shoe. so Putz is nominated already. And then who? where's the Soderlands? Uh, Linda Putz says she misses Debbie. We actually all do miss Debbie, yeah. believe it or not. Okay, big shoe, she called it. Who just else had one panda or what did she say? Uh, uh, wait, where's, uh, such a bright idea. Okay, light Pandora. All right, Pandora. So those of you that are new to watching, um, we're all about sarcasm. And you got to get a sarcastic line. You get nominated for line of the day. And if you are nominated for line of the day and you win, you could get this emotional support tooth is what it is. So it's an emotional support tooth. We do not mail it to you because we're cheap and we have zero budget. Here. Okay, who got it last time? I'm trying to remember. Your sheet. I think it was Linda. I threw it out. Linda, did you get it last time? Who won the emotional? Because they did not return it. So um, you'll get it for this it. most sarcastic line. What was Pandora's line again? I'm sorry, I'm losing track here. Oh my gosh, a bright idea. Bright, bright idea. Bright, right, right, right. Bright idea. And I don't see the Soderlands here. I know. I you know what? That, I'm wondering. No, Chris didn't win. Because if Chris won, he would be back gloating about um, it for sure. Barb Casperson is now watching. So we're picking up some newbies. Jennifer Erickson is watching. We have yeah, to mention something yeah. about Heidi. Heidi, her, Heidi, who's been on the show, Jennifer posted that um, her sister became very ill, like with sepsis. Yeah. So we will pray for her later. But Jennifer, yeah, they people, life flighted her. Yeah, they flighted her. They Up put, to North Dakota. Induced, you guys, she was just on the show on Monday. Okay. D uh, Jennifer, this is funny. Okay. <laughs> if this can be funny. So when they said they life flighted her to North Dakota, I'm thinking... She lives in St. Paul. Why the heck would they life flight her to North Dakota? Clearly, she doesn't live in St. Paul. They wouldn't life flight her way the heck over there. Well, that's, that's, right. that's pretty good. Aaron Free has now joined. We have the Jewish contingency. Um, we have nothing to celebrate him. Oh, I'll show you one of my wife's favorite shoes that I bought her. She's actually worn these a couple of times out in public. I can't Ray. do it anymore. We're into a style called steampunk. Yeah. You want to try to explain steampunk? Oh, no. It's the Victorian era, but like 
dials and gadgets. Well, and it's and, supposed to be like today's version of the yeah. Victoria there you era, go. There really. you go. Uh, yeah, that's that's a good way to say it, right? So here are these. You got to take these in. JJ will get a kick out of these. No pun intended. But look at the heel on those suckers. I know. But isn't that cool? It looks like something on a dress. I just don't really part. have it in me to wear them anymore. Yeah, but they're called steampunk. Is the style. We really like those. So those are a lot of fun. Yeah. Then you want to talk about your graffiti shoes? Yeah. That's which is fun. And yeah. I got them super cheap. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Those are her graffiti again, shoes. And they're, they're a, very hard. Who are they again? Oh, they're a Steve Madden. <laughs> yes, yeah, Steve Madden. There you go. Okay. But this is what we wear now. Yeah. This is sad. There it is. <laughs> this is sad. I married a high heel girl and now I got this, Lydell. I'm telling you. I know. Oh, it's you pretty tragic. It. Yeah, you can, can't they're you? They're camouflage. They're really cute. Yeah, they are cute. camouflage. They're slip-ons. See? See that? $8. Yeah, 8 bucks. <laughs> yeah, literally 8 bucks. They were cheaper than lunch. $8 for these. Cheaper than lunch. All right, should we get to some facts and figures? Aaron Free has not... Oh, he did. Aaron Free says, I can tell you don't get it. May, me. Jennifer Erickson says, Roseau, Minnesota now. Holy crap. Roseau, Minnesota, I think is 60 miles from the Canadian border. 60 or 30. I can't remember the number, but it's right there. Linda Putz, what did she say? She got the dirty tooth. That's okay. right. And, oh, the dirty one. That's right. That's right, because she could not handle the tooth. Yeah, see? It's yep. wrong. Uh, Pandora says your shoes like look like something from Star Trek. I know. Pandora, right. are you on the right uh, page? Yes, you're on the right page. Oh, um, Michael, Michael Scott is now on the right page. His wife says he likes my shoes. I think she liked my shoes. She did. Yeah. The oh, graffiti. the steampunk shoes. I know, they're really cool looking. JJ loved the graffiti shoes. Yeah, those I knew are, he would. JJ's they are good fun. people. JJ says he's got 32 pairs. So I showed you kind of, it's not all my collection, but it's just kind of the ones I could get all spread out in a few minutes. But I meant to count my shoes. Oh, I don't, yeah. I do not have no, anywhere. No, she doesn't have anywhere near that number. No, I don't. Yep. And really, I only wear like a certain type. I mean, I just wear like three or four pairs of shoes. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Oh, Jennifer uh, Erickson corrected me. It is closer than 30 miles. Okay. Uh, Lynn Neal is watching us now. Lynn Neal. Good to have you here. Uh, welcome, everybody. For those of you that are joining, got some good numbers there, honey. So that'll be fun. Um, the broadcasts have been growing, not necessarily live. We need to do something about that, but we had... We like our people, um, though. We had how many, so much fun with you guys. We had 1,500 views on the one on the Jim Peters, I think. Yeah. And then about four or 500 on just honey, Jim you're Peters. you're like sweating here. I know, honey. This, this is, is a very exciting show. I know. A very exciting <laughs> like, show. This is a lot for you, little fella. There's a lot going on. God, love you. All right. He's sweating like a fat man. He's sweating like a fat man. <laughs> okay, so... Speaking of Jim's humor, yes. so I have to get glasses. Yay yeah. me. So we're at the mall the other day to get glasses. Of course, now dead in Florida, everyone's wearing masks. We weren't before, but except everybody, but I can't lecture him. Don't lecture me. So anyhow, you I guys, wouldn't have to. They had this. What, what store were we at? We were, we were trying to get our steps over Macy's. there. Was it Macy's or Dillard's? Macy's, I think. Oh, was it Macy's? I okay. Think. Anyhow, yeah. He actually had me record this. I really wish I Jim, when I ever go looking for eyeglasses with Jim, he puts on like every pair because he wants to and then he acts like he becomes another person. So I couldn't get him doing that, but he did do this for Sydney. Yeah. You'll like the video. You because I know the mall stresses you out. We have a meditation pod. You may have to back it up. The so audio is pretty bad. I'm going to the mall. I'm totally stressed. Back it up. The meditation okay, I'll back pod. it up. We gotta back it up, people. Sorry guys. Just talk amongst yourselves while we just <laughs> this is me backwards. This is me backwards. Now we're gonna be quiet so they can this hear me. This is really true though. It this was is at it. The Here mall. we go. Found something for you at the mall because I know the mall stresses you out. Now they have a meditation pod for so where are you going today, Sydney? I'm going to the mall. I'm totally stressed. I gotta go to the meditation pod. <laughs> meditation so I'll be in here. So let me see. Ooh, ooh, that does work. Ooh, <laughs> that works. <laughs> okay. You know what you guys don't get to see is like usually we go back and we'll watch some of the, the podcasts to see like what went wrong, what we did right, and every, or the shows. But anyhow, Jim laughs at his own material. <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> Lydell knows. It's good it's stuff. It's so fun to watch him watch himself. Okay, Beth tries to be sarcastic here. So Beth says it takes a lot of watches by me to get to <laughs> 1,500 watches. I know. I think they all get together and try to help us out. We should try to do a... Um, we should try to do a show about watches now that Beth has brought that out. Oh, we're going to do a show probably after our tour. I don't think we can tour. pull it off before. We're going to do a show on autographs. Oh, oh, that's right. We are going to do a show. We got a lot of autographs. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that will be a big, big deal. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer Erickson likes her shoes flat on the ground. Jennifer Erickson, you got to train yourself to switch over to the Jim the, Peters. Um, Pandora said you glisten. I do glisten. He glistens. He glistens. He glistens. Thank he glistens. You, He's so pretty. I'm back on my diet. I'm off this stupid stuff, this COVID crap. 
I only put on about eight or nine pounds, though, but enough to just start snoring okay, and bug so the crap out of As you guys know, he has his kidney stones. But So we talked to the doctor today. Not It was actually his assistant. But we're, we said, okay, what does he do now to avoid having kidney stones? And he said, well, he needs to avoid eating a lot of protein and nuts. That's all the man eats. <laughs> so I went, on this, I went on this diet back in January. I went on this diet. And I dropped about 25 pounds. But I basically did a modified version of, um, oh, shoot. What's the diet I did? Oh, it's it's like an Atkins. Yeah, Atkins. Oh, keto. That's it. Or no, no, no. It, was it wasn't really it is keto. Atkins. So yeah. I was just doing meat, baby. He Very just little did carbs. Meat. I dropped my glucose levels by 15 to 18. Yeah, significantly. That went really, really good. I got off all the obvious sugars and then did the protein thing, but then grew two <laughs> ginormous kidney stones. So I don't know what the heck the trade off is. Yeah. Okay, that wasn't a fitting room. You guys, that was actually like this pod, and it said it was a meditation. It was closed. Yeah. Why you close the meditation room? I, know. I don't know. I know. And all it was was a stupid little bit. It was like those round deals to hang coats on, you know, for displays for shirts and stuff. Jacked up eight feet in the air and these lame shower curtains around it. Okay, I do think Linda Putz might have the line of the day. She said, not a big fan for an autograph. <laughs> you know, an autograph and a big fan. Yeah. Okay, I had to explain it to him. Yeah, no. Yeah. God love him. Putz has got that humor. She's actually Italian. I don't know where the name Putz comes from. Like Dale said, I know you're looking good, Jim, but don't think how great thou art when you're looking in the mirror. <laughs> okay, Lydell gets Lydell. it. Yeah, we got to put it Lydell. I don't think Lydell good. has ever won. Lydell, have you ever did. won? It's been a while, but he's, he's, he's gotten in there. All right, let's put it in there. All right. Michael Scott says, at least you have one big fan. <laughs> all right, we're ready to go on some questions, honey. This okay. is all about shoes. Well, it's about tonight. shoes. So, like, well, I'm going to ask you guys, like, oh, wait, no, this is a different question. If you're just what joining is- late, we're about shoes tonight. This is the shoe show. Everybody say, the shoe show. Okay, I'm asking a question here, fellas. I know, but I had to give a little break. What is the average number of shoes that people own? Okay, here we go. Average number of shoes that people own. One, 12 pair, number two, 19 pair, and number 27, or number three, 27 <laughs> pair. Okay, those are the options. JJ, you better get this one right, doggone it. Now, this is people. This is not necessarily women or men. Right. This is Just both. the average person. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. The average person. The right. average person. How many it shoes? It brings up a point, though. Where are Chris and Linda? I don't know, because I had a little something for Chris and Linda. I know. I think we got to call them. Oh, my word. I think we got to call them. See what happens if you don't, you know, come say hi to this us. This is, it's like bad church. It's like bad church. Yeah, that we all grew up in. All right, let's see. Putz is a very old ancient German name. Really? Putz. Huh, I don't it know. It sounds like a, a German name. Let's see where they are. Put them on the speakerphone. Nah, Seriously. look at this. Dun, dun, dun. Two. I can't remember. All right, what, what are the answers answer? coming in? Linda says number two. Know. Michael says number one, 12 pair. Pandora's going with number one. Pandora has been way off her game lately, by the way. Uh, Josh says number two. JJ's on number two. The other best is number three. No, nope, no answer at the Soderlands. And what about Bob, people? Bob. What about Bob? Bob. Now we got to call Bob. All right. Oh, He's you doing. know what? Can't you just be happy with the people that no, are here? No, we always to be with want us? more. We're concerned no. about our audience. And Randy Phillips isn't here. We'll have to call him tonight, too. I know. Maybe he's working. He's in Arizona. He's another hot state. We're the yeah, hot state. And Nobody's going to let us in. Right. Where's Montbatten? All right. So. M- Michael Scott says he has. No, never mind. Never mind. Ignore okay. Me. Vicky says she has 42. Is that 42 pair? I'm working. Are you kidding me? 42 pair shoes. We're on the air. Well, we're on the air. Everybody say hi to Bob. Hi, Bob. Oh, my gosh. Can you say hi to the yeah, people? Yeah, right. Whatever. He's Friday working night. outside. Thursday. Oh. I thought you were on Fridays. Oh, Lord. We've been on Thursdays for a month. People, oh. I'm telling you. We got our days confused. We get confused. Dear Jesus. All right. All right. Let's have, go back. Have fun. Goodbye. All right. Aaron said, okay, you guys, it is. It's number one. It's 12 pair of shoes. You're kidding. Here's the interesting thing. So about women, they said, at first I read a lot of statistics that said women have about 19 pair of shoes. But then I read one that said, no, women actually have 27 pairs of shoes. Because I'm like, there's no way women just have 19 pair of shoes. No, nah, I don't think that so. That wouldn't be right. I don't think so. My mom. Oh, that's right. Where's my dad? Oh, they're all saying hi to Bob. Say oh, hey. Bob, you got all kinds of people saying hi to you, but he's working or something. Aaron Free says answer number one. 12 pair. So what was the correct answer? Um, I said, I told you it was, it was 12 pair. Oh, it is 12 yeah, pair. Yeah, it's 12 pair. Okay. But they said it used to be men had about 12 pair of shoes. Holy crap. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. It's, you know what? I have it wrong. It, it is two. It's 19 pair. Yeah. Men used to have 12. I'm sorry. It's number okay. two. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to read what Beth said? The other Beth? Oh, 
You have a hundred pair of shoes? Beth, you're my people. Beth, you need to go to the closet right now. And take and, a picture. Yeah, and message us a picture so we can share it with everybody here. Okay, Jennifer I'm sorry, you guys. Says, it was number two. It's 19 pair of shoes. One year, my one and only pair of shoes was a hand-me-down from one of my daughters. Oh, yeah, we all know those days, don't we? Steve, when Steve and I were in Bible college, Steve had one pair of shoes. My parents were, like, broke, and we had, like, zero jobs. We were working at Camp Zion. Yeah. And Steve prayed over his shoes. He got one pair of shoes the last three years. Oh, you're kidding. No, he did. He had one pair of shoes the last three years. I don't really, you know, I wasn't really into sneakers David or anything. David Crater is watching. Oh, hi, David. And we also got uh, Christina <laughs> Arthur is watching. Aaron Free is just off. He missed his game there. He had number one. He was on the wrong answer. See, yeah. I, you know what the thing is, is I think for the most part, there's a lot of shoes we just don't wear, especially no. as women. My mom is one of those people, like she has a pair of shoes that matches every outfit. She, they all match. It's the purse, the ring, or the, the earrings. I typically don't buy movie tie-in shoes because they don't really gain any value, and they're really that cool. But these I liked. JJ liked these. These were from the first Godzilla movie. Um, so what was that early 2000s or something? I forget. <laughs> I I but run. there it is. Those are the Godzilla movie. <laughs> and then I'm holding out from one of my bestest ones. I love Superman. As you know, we got a big Superman on the hood of our car, which my wife is very excited yeah. about. But it came with the previous. People start taking pictures of us. And oh, like, we yeah. should take a picture of the car. We should. Absolutely. All right. So these are my favorite. These are Superman. They kind of look like clown shoes, though, really. Honey, look at them. Like if you hold them like this, don't you guys think? See, they look like clown shoes, kind of. My dad was a clown when I was a kid. And that's what they look like. <laughs> that's okay, honey. <laughs> I, I, right. I'm actually stumped. Next I'm, question. I'm stumped. All these right. are my Supermans. Aaron Free, these are good. You would never wear these anywhere ever, Aaron. Oh, Beth's not home. She'll send a shoe picture later. Oh, okay, cool. A hundred pair of shoes. Yeah. Beth, now, the, now Beth is dragging on my shoes. She called them clown shoes. They are, they're clown shoes. They are not. They are, they are Superman. And we got some carbon fiber back here, which is really cool. Okay, think about it. They're size 13. Well, I mean, come on, so people. they're huge. So I'm they big. already have that look, kind of, you know what I mean? Like a clown. I mean that in the nicest way. We need a commercial break here. <laughs> <laughs> clown shoes. See, they're all saying, yes, clown shoes. Jim is now crushed. I am crushed. His poor little spirit. Yeah, your people were, used to be some of my favorite fans. Not okay, no so we're going to go to a question that Beth can appreciate. Beth. Uh, the other Beth actually other Beth? sent this information in. Okay. Adidas bought their three stripe uh, trademark from, and I don't know how to say your last Carhu. name, Carhu Shoes for how much? Number one, they lost it in a bet. Number two, 1,600 euros and two bottles of whiskey. Or number three, a vacation home in the Azores. So they bought. The three stripes, which you kind of go, like, really, yeah. they had to buy that? They could have come up with that on their own. Yeah. What? Yeah. They bought it from the other shoe company. Yep. I thought that was really fun. And it's her. Oh, oh I did, we didn't make the tie-in. That's her last name. I didn't understand. Is there a connection there? Like, are you oh. connected? Maybe that's why she's got 100 shoes. Oh. That could be. Oh, I, mean, I, I, I Oh, my gosh. She is. She's related to the Adidas people. I didn't know that. No. Kidding. It's a joke. Oh my word. David Craner says he didn't know Superman was a clown. <laughs> David, <laughs> you're really thin ice. Thin pizza crust. You're on thin pizza crust. Oh, my word. Doesn't Mark awesome. Haas is watching. Good old yeah. Mark Haas. I didn't know you were still alive, Mark. It's great <laughs> to hear you. Great to see you. Thanks for joining, Marky. Uh, let's see. Hard. Christine says, I never wear my high heels anymore, but I can't part with them. Well, that's pretty true. Like these suckers. I don't know if you saw them. Christine, these are my wife's. Yeah. She wore these back when she was young and dating. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. She she kind of suckered me on that. She was wearing heels all the time. Now she's walking around in barefoot and flats. No, I don't he know. knows better. I, I, actually, I usually wear wedges. Jennifer Erickson says, I have a box fan that wants to be your fan. Oh, <laughs> That's, that could be okay. like... Right now, uh, Jennifer, I'm, like poking, I'm poking you in the eye. Right now, I'm poking you in the eye. Oh, she doesn't have a connection. We don't like Jennifer Dewey. We don't like Jennifer Dewey. <laughs> All right, you got to read what um, Beth, Beth said. The, the other, other Beth, Beth yeah. Carhu is an M now. I wish I had a connection, but I don't. I, lots of people in Finland now have Carhu names. You can buy lots of Carhu sportwear in Finland. Oh, okay, cool. 
It's an M instead of stripes. Oh, I see. So yeah. theirs was a, the stripes to make an M. I okay. Can, okay. I'm trying so the to question, put the question back up again oh, sorry, for these yeah. people, these All smart, right. beautiful these audience. smart people. Oh, let me fix my hair while we go to the commercial And they just bought their three-stripe trademark from Karu. Car okay, you're not giving us the answer. Here we go. So number one, they lost it in a bet. Number two, 1,600 euros and two bottles of whiskey. Or number three, a vacation home in the Azores. Aaron Free, you better get this right. All right. All right, I think... John and Pandora, did you just Oh, send Tiffany me? If arrived. Hi, Tiffany. Tiffany? Yeah, she Tiffany was Tiffany Porter is finally here? Yeah, she's Oh, late. geez, Tiffany. We got, now we got to back up to the top of the show again. All right, these were Sonny's heel <laughs> shoes. We showed these a few minutes ago. And I showed my Godzilla movie tennis shoes, my Nike customs. They were. And then I showed my SpongeBob Nike Air Force One. Show your boys those. Those are really cool. And then I showed my... Uh, carbon fiber Nikes, never been worn. Look how beautiful those suckers are. Came with a selection. And then I showed my purple custom ones. I forget, this was some sort of tie in to a movie, I think. I don't know. Carhu is how it's said. Carhu. 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 Oh, okay. All right. All right, so Tiffany, two, says Beth. Carhu. Right. Who's, yeah, that was right. All right. Okay, hold on. Lydell, who's on the wrong channel, said number two. Vicky says number one. Uh, Christine says number two. Let's see who else is waiting. That's it. Uh, Aaron Free is still trying to figure out what channel he's on. Tiffany says number two. I said that. Michael Scott, number three, the vacation home in the Azores. And so the answer is what? Okay, the answer is it's two. <laughs> 1,600 euros and two bottles of whiskey. Okay, 1,600, you double it in dollars. So 3,200 bucks they paid for it. I know. Isn't that amazing? Are we going to discuss? I mean, stripes are like, no. Are we discussing how much money Nike uh, yeah. paid for their logo? Okay. Right, we can do All that. Right, no, no, no. Exit. We got another video. We have another video. Well, Usually what I do is I ask a question the, and then... Okay, we could do it that way. Sure. You were like, you poor little fella. There's a lot going on here. <laughs> okay, sweating. we're going to do the hair's uh, going. another question. It's okay. hot in this room. I, it, Liz Meyer joint. Liz Aww. put up those cool pictures. I know. I actually was... I will put those up next time. That was really fun. Yes, thank you, Liz, for that. That was cool. Yeah, I, that was really I, fun. I, which usually means Liz is throwing stuff out. So the pictures yeah, went up yeah. because now she can go, Rick, we can trash this crap. I'm okay. pretty sure that's I what you got it now. Do. Okay, you ready? Go. Okay, so here's the question. How much did the Nike logo cost to produce? Good question. Number one, 35 bucks. Number two, 5,000 bucks. Or number three, 2.5 million to get the famous swish. 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 The swish. All right, there you go. Okay, and while you guys are answering that, so it's one thirty-five dollars, two five thousand, or three two point five million. We're going to pay, play for you. Yes. Which one? We're going to play the one where the some of you people sent in your shoes. Oh, okay. Pictures of the shoes. So here's the shoes. audience shoes. We'll kind of talk over it, but the letter, the name should be down in the corner. All I just right. did screenshots on some of these, but it's right. in the audio you can turn uh, do way I down. Need to move us. Eh, nah. No, we'll I don't okay. think so. There's, uh, yeah, that's in the putzes. There's Lydell's. And then uh, there's Pandora with her stuffed dog. That's actually a dead dog. <laughs> and then there's a close-up of hers. Those are some of mine again. Different ones. There you go. There's my Jeep. Yep, that's her Jeep. Uh, those are John's. He uses those at the nursing home to race to the buffet. Those are cute. Those, yeah, are Dit Derek Ditkowski. Those are mine. And these, this is a shot uh, from the Padres game. And those are her Padres shoes. Yeah. So I told you I was going to show that. And then those, there's my closet with the rest of my shoes. There's another part of my closet with the rest of my shoes, which is out in the garage. There's my shoes mounted up on the Jeep. Wow. We like those shoes, don't we, Jimmy? We like those shoes, don't we, Jimmy? <laughs> he can keep himself entertained for hours with that That's right. Thing. Okay, now we got some answers rolling in. JJ says answer number one. Tiffany thinks she's on a roll. Uh, Josh said, uh, JJ number okay, one, Pandora number one, Linda number three, Tiffany number two, Michael Scott two, 5,000, Aaron Free says number two, Christine number three, Lydell number two, and who else? Uh, oh, Christine won that last one. That's pretty impressive. Christine says, I'm guessing I was someone else's logo. It was someone else's logo and they had to buy it? Question mark, she says. So we're going to answer that question. I like Pandora and John's hard. shoes, was what Linda said. All right. Yeah. Okay. The answer is the answer is one. It was thirty five dollars, thirty five dollars. And but they later went back. I mean, it's been years. Yeah. They went back, and I think you said they gave her material, but actually, I read that they gave her like a watch or a ring or something with the, the logo on it. Was it was like four hundred thousand dollars worth of material. And they did give yeah. her some stock in Nike. Oh, did but they? originally, it was thirty five dollars that she made on that logo. Yeah. Can you believe that? The whole company started out as a 
project. Uh, project. Yeah. yeah. It was a school right. project. Now, if you got to dress up and you have to go to classic events, you know, like the kind of stuff, JJ, you got to go to an errand free. You got to get a good pair of shoes. <laughs> Look at these. Suckers. Okay, that is not a lighting issue. Those really. This is They're it. like a neon yellow yeah, on the bottom. This is it. Isn't that cool? It's kind of a yellow. Yeah, there I don't it know if you can tell Those that. Are my faves right there. His You're face. Dressing up. There you are. There's... He does. I will tell you. I what do you call these saddle shoes? We have right? gone to black tie events. The suckers were sporting it. There you go. That's it. That's I'm my man. You. That's it. So. Um, uh, so the other day when we were at the mall. These two guys come up to Jim and they're like, aren't you that famous guy on TV? So what does Jim say? Yeah, but shh, don't tell anybody. <laughs> I went thumbs up to them. They all think I'm Jay Leno. I don't know what that's oh, about. That's Christine, so you were funny. wrong. See, not even close. Wah, wah, wah. Exactly. Beth likes those. Thank you, Beth. Yeah. The other Beth. Pandora says those are wild. Thank you, Pandora. And then Linda says, somebody got ripped off. Linda, just, you can keep your comments to yourself for a while. I think that'd be fine. Oh, wait. I think we got some pictures rolling in here. Uh, Tiffany sent, holy cow. I don't even know what those are. We've got to show those to the Tiffany's, general public. I, they're pictures of Yeezys. I don't even know what a Yeezy is. Well, we're going to show. This is uh, Tiffany's Yeezy shoes. They're like easy? Yeah. Wait, turn them. Oh. Can you see it there, people? Yeah, we need to find a Kinda. better way to do this. There's got to be something I can do to... All right, so up. there's that. And then somebody else sent another pair of shoes in, I think. You know what? I might be able to do this. Uh, I have the technology, you do? I think. Wait it just second. might take me a minute. You'd have to entertain while I would look for it. I'm afraid I'll break the whole system. <laughs> uh, you know what? Can you bring it up on there? Because that would be a better oh, picture. That, uh, it depends if Tiffany sent it here. I don't think so. Tiffany's on the wrong channel. Well, no. Isn't she... Didn't she send it to you through... Uh, Messenger? Uh, yeah, but if I... No, I can't. If I open it up, I've never opened Messenger on here in like three weeks. It's oh, going okay. to okay. give me like okay. 200 and then you know how slow this thing is. No. Yeezys are cool, Pandora says. That the would Yeezys figure. Yeezys are cool. And okay. John's complaining that he's Yeezys. losing some of the, the uh, comments and things. And I don't know. So oh, John, really? Yeah, but don't worry about John. He complains a lot. <laughs> so it's kind of his thing. <laughs> the other Beth says, I sent my tennis shoe pictures to you. Yes, I already got that, Beth. Wait a minute. To your messenger Facebook, Beth said that. Wait a second, I thought those were Tiffany's, weren't they? Hold on. Uh, what did I mess up? Beth. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yes, she did. That's right. I forgot. You brought it. You came too late for the video. But here is the other Beth's shoe collection. Can you see them? There you go. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? There huh? you go. Yeah. That works. The Wait, she's bit. the one that says she had 100 pair of shoes, right? Yeah. Those are her, yeah. These are six. She does not know how to display shoes. I'll just tell you that right now, Beth. you got to work at this. So she's got some, I don't know what those are, and she's got some Fila's in here. I think she's got a pair of Asics in there, I think. Some, yeah. She's got some Adidas. Adidas. Yeah, two pairs of Adidas, an original Adidas, and then I don't know what that yeah. is. It starts with an M. I don't know what that is. She's got money, though. I can't afford her stuff. She says here, I only have six pair of tennis shoes. The rest were downstairs. I have lots, and I was lazy. I love Saucony shoes the best. I used to run. Note the one facing up says Carhu. Oh, that's what it says, oh. Carhu. I ordered that pair from Finland just because of the name. However, my favorite every shoes are her Vans. I seem to collect those too. I do have a couple of pair of Vans. I don't have one here, but I got one of my favorite pair of Cons. Uh, Converse well, I'll here. tell you what. Can we like go to a question or something? Oh, I was like, on a roll. I know. He's. I'm telling you. When you <sighs> talk about you. his shoes, I'm so excited. Susan McQuinn Wells has just joined us. Now we got to back the whole dang program up because she's oh these Canadians. Okay, we already asked how many shoes, right? But uh, what's your favorite pair of shoes? Oh, yeah. Like, what's your favorite pair? Like, is are they? She said, shoes? yeah, are she they... likes Saucony, is what uh, the other Beth just said. Tiffany yeah. says, my husband is Filipino. If that says something, he has the shoes. Oh, yeah, good point. Filipinos love shoes. Yeah. Jamie Blackchief says, shoes are such a happy thing. I love them except when I have to wear them. Oh, Jamie, you're one of those never wears shoes? Okay. Susan Wells has now joined us. As I actually I said. love shoes. I do. Oh, yeah. I mean, She's I, very yeah. Much into shoes. And I know I don't have a ton of shoes, but and then I have my favorites, and then I wear them all the time. No, um, uh, John is and Murphy. Yeah, those are great shoes. Yeah. What Johnson uh, Murphy? Yeah. Oh yeah, yep. We can't afford those things, JJ. <laughs> we don't have that kind of. Yeah, money. JJ, that's like lawyer money. JJ. New Balance, Lidell. There yeah. you go. Plus those Johnson and Murphys, JJ. Unless they've changed them, they're so stinking stiff. Stiff. Like, yeah, you got to walk like Frankenstein in those. Yeah, suckers. but you don't like to break the toe, anyhow. I hate it when she contradicts me and she's right. 
He knows I'm right. Okay, hold Doc on. Doc Martens. I was showing a cool show. Tell oh, us Pandora what you're... Oh, Pandora said flip-flops. Oh. Sa oh, Ferragamo. Ferragamo. Oh. Guess who that is. I don't know. Really? You can't figure that out. Pandora? No, it's Aaron Free. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Aaron Free. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that's classic. Aaron Free Wait, never I shopped at... Not. What's this cheap shoe joint? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, pay there's a store. Or... Yeah, maybe pay okay. less. Or what was the other one that everybody took their family to? You could buy 10 pairs of shoes for a buck. Uh, this is another one of my favorites. Never been worn. These are awesome. What Look are at these suckers. Even? I these don't even are cons. Know. These are Converse, All Stars. There's the name in the back. Right. So there you go. If you're hardcore into these shoes, you're going to like these, man. So these are the Flying Tigers, is what they are. I love those shoes, but man, they look cool. I'll show you the other side there, people. While you're working on a question, let me know, know when I'm you're ready. I know which one I want to There ask. they are. I have a couple more. Good stuff. See? Oh, you know what? I thought this was really interesting. Okay, Tiffany. what percentage of women have a pair of shoes they have never worn? Whoa. So do 25% of the women? Go ahead. Number two is 48% women, and number three is 85% women. She's definitely one of those because yeah. she has shoes she has not worn. That is Never true. worn. Yeah. Uh, JJ says, I never pay so. full price for shoes. Oh, JJ, right? yeah. we got to talk. Tiffany says, it's a, it's a brand from the Philippines. I don't even know how you say it. I know. Oh, yes. oh pay less shoes. Yeah, Tiffany, that was it. You're right. You had it right. Hey, Fing hey Flinger, Linda says, best shoes ever. I, Linda, what are, you get those at Salvation Army? I don't even know what you're talking about. Thank you, Pandora. She likes my flying. Chuck Taylors are my other favorites, says JJ. Oh, yeah, Chucks are awesome. Uh, Pandora says my wife, or John says my wife says she loves her Merrells. We'll put the question back up. We'll put the question back up. She had up. one pair for approximately 10 years of Merrells. Wow. That was in her old running days, I'm betting. Lydell says Floorsheim Royal Imperials. Oh my gosh. Did you have Floorsheim in, in Ohio? I don't even know what that is. Is that a Minnesota brand only, you guys? I don't know that. Is it a brand? Is, it, or no, is it a store? It's a store. Oh, okay. And I think they had their own brand of shoes. Okay. I think they were Floorsheim. Are they still around? Somebody tell me if Floorsheim is still around. And Aaron, dear, dear Jesus, would you just talk to the common people here? We're, we're talking about Nikes. We're not Ferragamos. Okay, Lord. the other day, so this mall that we went to. In Aaron Free's defense, he's married to a Menza. And she's a Menza. She's a Menza. They're and both Menzas, actually. She's got like a real doctor, not like Aaron's, which he got from, you she's know. She's like amazing. Yeah, he got his from Hobby Lobby. Yeah, he got idol. his doctorate degree from Hobby Lobby, I think. Right. Don't curse him. No, don't curse him. I know. He's oh cursed my word! How many more do we have? Can we just stick with the question here? Go with the question, lady. <sighs> Back to the question. This program's getting long. Okay, so eighty-five percent of the women have shoes that they've never worn before. Seriously, I wouldn't have guessed that. I would have said maybe forty-eight. No, it's it's eighty-five. Wow. Right. I thought that was really high. That's very high. Would you, ladies, verify that number? You think? Did anybody even guess? Tiffany said number two. Uh, Beth said number one. Josh, JJ was number two. Linda, number one. Uh, Pandora says her shoes fit like a glove coming out of the box. Tiffany says I'm in. I'm for my Clemson Tigers. Anything orange are my favorite. Michael Scott says number one. Linda says Schuller shoes. They're expensive. I don't know Schuller shoes either. How in the world Schuller. is Putts affording those? I don't know. Haven't been to the Maplewood Mall forever. Is it even still up? My mom hated that place. Lydell says Floor Shimes is gone, but the Royal Imperials 20 years ago cost 150 bucks 20 years ago. Wow. That shows you what a rock star Lydell was back in the day. He was, he was he, paying he's still a rock star. He was paying 150 bucks for shoes. Now he's walking around. Well, and, that's sort of your situation. <laughs> did we show the weird shoes yet? We gotta go no, through that we video. Have that. That's right. All right. Vicky Daggett says number three. Lydell said number two. All right, Aaron Free didn't weigh in, I don't think. And so the answer to that last one was. What number? I forget. We just she was I know, in order. I was said it was eighty five percent. Oh, the number. number. Two, it right? was three. Three. Yeah, eighty five percent. Yeah. You women would verify that or not? I don't know. I know. I I can verify that. I, Tiffany I says I must have emptied my closet for the show. No, not even. They close. did say most women just wear like a pair, three or four pair of their shoes all the time. They have all these other shoes, but they don't wear them. <laughs> Which that's I think that's the average person though. Okay, I gotta find you. I would think. All right, we got another little all right. video. The would you wear? Right, yeah, so would you wear it? Jim That's, put this together. The question is, would you wear it? And you can just weigh in as the video goes along. I tried to slow it down. There's not really any music. We'll talk it over. So we found these funny shoes online. So here you go. The okay. shoe show video. The shoe would show. you wear it? I'm trying to figure out how they made those things right there. It's like, how? I put Asian music with it. I thought it was perfect. Slingshots. I think that's a, a dolly. Now, do those even work? They actually are going a little fast here, aren't they? I thought I slowed I don't know. It's like a coat hanger. 
Yeah, really. I know. Who little are these boats. people? Little boats. Yeah, the dog thing. The dog. We just put shoes on our dog. I don't know what those are. Kegs? Converse that are destroyed up on heels. I'm not sure what's I'm going not, on there. It's like, yeah. Yeah, those are comfortable, I'm those sure. Those are definitely comfortable. Oh, dear Lord. Cross your feet, you hurt somebody. Those, not sure what's happening there. I, You know, some of these, you could really hurt your ankle. Yeah. Oh, now those actually look kind of comfortable. I hate the, th- the tong thing, the thong thingy. Those are my favorites right there, the flippers. Okay, you can't say it. it yeah, they're like, yeah. yeah, you don't say thong. No, you can't it's, say thong. It's anymore. not the thing you say. What do you call it? Now, Debbie could not wear heels. No. It was kind of a joke. I was, I had finally got her to wear like a little heel. I could it get her to awesome. wear a little heel, but she she was not going to wear heels. No, that wasn't her thing. She broke her no. ankle how many times? Yeah, oh, uh, seven. Yeah. Be- between both ankles, we did a yeah. total of seven. Kelly she Roberts is watching and she says, me. Lydell says, floor shine. Oh, you're already talking about that. Bag a better bargain at the Maplewood Mall. Oh, that thing is bag a better bargain. You know what I'm betting? Bag a better bargain at Maplewood I'm Mall. I'm thinking he did a jingle for them. And that oh. must have been the jingle. We haven't played a Lydell jingle I know, in a while. Lydell, we need to play a jingle of yours. Well, and I had oh, one. we did have one. Crystal I know. Sugar. I know. You guys, you know, sometimes things get put back and then I need to save a, se- a separate so file. So Beth weighed in. The other Beth weighed in on every pair of shoes. Look what she says. <laughs> Did you no. say yes to any no, of no, them, no, Beth? No, no, no you no, didn't. No, no. Uh, Linda no. Putz wouldn't wear any of them. Jamie, I once rolled my ankle <laughs> while sitting on my couch. Seriously, Jamie, that's that could awesome. Be lying. That's a good line. Th- yeah, it is. Okay, Jamie, we're nominating you for line of the day. Jamie, I don't think has watched before, has she? I don't know. I, I don't, don't think so. So, Jamie, so. if you get line of the day for being the most sarcastic, you get the emotional support tooth. Because you can't handle the tooth. Yeah. We do not mail it to you. You emotionally get to hold this until the next episode. It's a squeezy. So it's, it's for a stress. Yeah, yeah. It's a stress tooth. Yeah, so you get to possess tooth. this and hold it and do whatever you want with it. Take it and show it to all your friends. But you only get it emotionally. So what was her line again, hon? We're going to forget. Oh, wait a minute. Um, so it was... I rolled my ankle sitting on my couch. Jamie. Yeah. But you have I to be I did hurt my ankle one time years ago, but not from... Yeah, I was from jumping on something, not from... All right, rolled an ankle on the couch. Yeah, you did. You got yeah. ankle on the couch. All right. All right. So Jamie is true story. She says, and then she's she's hoping she gets line of the day. Okay. So we'll see. So far, uh, the Jew Aaron Free has not not got anything nominated yet uh, for line of the day. I know he's day. been quiet. Yeah, he is. Kind of scary. Uh, it's a little nerve wracking. It's a little nerve wracking. Right, so, so Linda's up for a line. Pandora's up for a line. Lydell's got a line. And Jamie is up for a I'm line. I'm asking this question. Okay, this yeah. is what I thought was it. Now we're talking about heels. In order to be considered a stiletto, how high does the heel have to be for a stiletto? Number one, three inch. Number two, two inches. And number three, one inch. Could we have changed those answers with the question there? Because they're uh, number one is three inches. Number two is two inches. And number three is oh, one inch. Oh, I guess inch. I should have done it. <laughs> no, yeah. it's just funny. All right, so which is it, people? Great. Try to figure out the answers there based Wonderful on the numbers. Wonderful or three or just yeah, that's true. Yep, Tiffany Porter. I've watched this show. How long Jamie comes on a on of the blue one day and steals <laughs> the prize? <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, that's a line, honey. There you go. That's Tiff. Is Tiff up for line tonight? No, and I hate to tell you this, honey. Well, no, we got Lydell. The rest of them are all for line of the day are all women. Well, that's kind of cool. So Tiff is upset with Jamie. Yep. I don't even, I don't, I don't know where Jamie is from. I don't know. Jamie, where, Jamie, are, you where from? are you from? That reminds me, you know, we haven't talked about this in a while. Are you guys like back to normal everywhere? Are you guys all getting back to normal? Like Beth, how's Arizona? Like I just. Yeah. All we right. were back to normal yeah. and now we're not. Now we're not. Yeah. Answers are coming in. Christine says number one. Uh, Linda Putz says number one. Uh, Michael Scott. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, Beth says number one. So Jamie must be from Buffalo based on what Michael Scott just said. Pandora oh. says number one. There we go. And uh, uh, Michael Scott came in with number one because it's a term for a small knife. Oh, okay. Uh, Jamie says, uh-oh. Jamie says, I'm from Buffalo, New York. Linda Putz says women are more sarcastic. Probably true. Pandora is now back on the wrong channel. Oh, she's trying to figure it out. Okay. Michael Scott, Jamie is our people from Buffalo. Michael Scott says, Tiffany Porter says, not back to normal. Spiking in South Carolina. Oh. Oh, that's right. You're like North Carolina, South Carolina. I think we're spiking, like, as you probably know. As Susan Wells says, we're becoming the epicenter of death. Susan. That's how she has referred to us. Susan, why are you not talking? We haven't had Susan even weigh in on anything. Where the heck is Susan? Where is Susan? The sloth wants to know. See, Beth, she's Arizona. The masks have to come out. Yeah, see, they're... 
before, like, you could go anywhere around here and nobody had masks on. But now, like, everybody's wearing masks. Although JJ was wearing masks. What? Jamie, I think, just got another line of the day. Read it. I'm in Read the Milo where it smells like Cheerios and chicken wings are currency. <laughs> oh, Buffalo. <laughs> you know what? My sister wants to go to Buffalo because she saw, what did, diners and dives. dives, she saw, you know, something about Buffalo and she's like been dying to go to Buffalo. So that's what she's doing for her vacation. She's going to Buffalo. Jamie, that's awesome. Great line. So we now, Alex Conway just joined. Welcome to the program, Alex. We're talking about shoes. All right. Going to another pair of my favorite ones. JJ, see what you think of these suckers. Can you tell me who these were Italian with? What model were these Nikes called? This might give you the answer in the back. You can see how the name is written there. Check that out. That's how it's written. Here's how they look from the toe when you're wearing them. Came with the blue lace. Didn't change them out. I've never changed out any of my laces. There's the other side. These are the Fred Flintstones. No. Shut it. <laughs> that was out of nowhere. I want you to know. Didn't all, even see that coming. <laughs> all my shoes were listed in my prenup. <laughs> Not one of them. Because I would one size 13 tennis shoes. Just, you would. You, know, you would. It happen. You might get them when I die, but my nephew is th size 13. Okay, so we got to remember, Jennifer gave this update, so let's go oh, back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, you for it? sharing that, Jennifer. Yes, What, well, do you want to read it now or the end? Uh, you can read it now, and then we'll pray at the end in okay. case some people she, do it. Heidi, so as I said before, so Heidi who listens, and she was just actually on here on Heidi Monday. and Jennifer are sisters. Yeah, yeah, Heidi and Jennifer are sister. From Minnesota. But she was uh, life-flighted over to uh, Fargo, right? North Dakota. Yeah, now she's in Roseau. Yeah, so and she's in a uh, induced coma. So Heidi update, she's intubated, has sepsis due to diabetes. She She's in stable condition, is in an induced coma, getting blood pressure meds through an arterial line, getting pain meds so they don't know when she's coming off the ventilator. Infection slowly getting better. She knew she was getting intubated, so prayers are welcome. We have a love, loving, healing God. Well, that's so, awesome. So, yeah, we'll pray for we her. We will pray for her at the end of the show. I just ask all of you guys to... I apologize. I was smirking a little bit during her report. It was nothing to do with the report that was being read. It was Aaron Free finally came in with a good line. What did she say? His line says, I would weigh in but I'm embarrassed about my COVID weight. <laughs> uh, you know, as much as I hate him. Oh, Aaron, uh, you weren't on. I had the greatest little video about this little girl putting her pants on, and it was like how everybody think feels right now. We've all gained that little weight right now. All right, all right. so... What oh, do you wait, got wait, now? I know. Wait, what was the question? We have another video. Or, you know, you got the question. If people weigh in on the question. Oh, yeah. Yes, wait, the stiletto question. Hold the on. stiletto. Okay. So actually, the answer is just, it's three, it's one. It's, it's one inch and it's considered a stiletto. I didn't know that. I thought stilettos were like five inches, but it's not. Yeah. It's, it can be one inch and that's con really? considered a stiletto. Well, and that was, uh, I think Michael Scott got it wrong. I think he said two inches. Leanne finally joined us. Anna Kane finally joined us. Where the heck have you been? Oh, just if Tiffany Porter said they're not wearing masks there. Is that what, did you already read that? Yeah, I read it out loud though. She said, Tiffany uh, folks, from South Carolina. Yeah, folks are north. Is she north? South. Folks here are stubborn. We won't won't wear their masks. You know, um, we were the first to succeed from the union. We're stubborn folks here. No one is telling us what to do. See, that's Jim. Um, Susan P. Wells. Wilson had, apply. Susan P. Wells has just weighed in with what oh. could be a line of the day nomination. They just wear no snowshoes. I have yeah, none to it. brag about. Yeah. You in know, that's the bad thing about snow. It's hard to wear really cute shoes. I finally found, finally Ugg started making like, you know, little wedges on their boots. This Jamie, uh, we may, she, Jamie, you have to figure out from Michael Scott how to become a top fan. Because she just gave another great line. She says, I call them stilet nose. <laughs> Susan P. Wells, it is so good to have you on here. And Erin Free, we did nominate you for line of the day. I think Susan, we're going to nominate her See, because Tiffany of snow said, shoes. I wear stilettos to work every day. Because it's an inch. She can say I wear stilettos to work. I, Tiffany is awesome. All right. Leanne says, hey, stopping oh, by. Hi, stopping Leanne. in. Hi and by. Heel, Jim, heel. Ha ha. <laughs> okay, Leanne, you got to see the shoes Sunny wore. Yep. You got to check these out. Ago. Not that many moons ago. But look at that. Aaron Those said, I feel cool. it. This could be a win. Yep. This could be. This, this could finally be it. could bring it, bring it back to your people. This could be it. Michael Scott guessed I was way off on that one. See, Michael? I don't know. And you had it, you were I know who, I really, I thought it was going to be three. I was actually surprised it wasn't four inches. I thought it was going to be, but. I didn't know. It yep. just goes to show you. Lydell, I think, missed it. He was, or no, Lydell said answer number one. Isn't that, was that the right answer, number one? No. No, number would've one would have been, no. been three. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm sorry. That was probably too loud. That's right awesome. in your ear right there. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. I did find this meme. I've got to share with you guys because I thought it was so, it's so typical of how, what we all do. What are you laughing at? The other Beth just had a great line. She says, Sonny's shoes would make me six feet tall. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm very short. All right. So it's kind of- <laughs> Jamie came with another line, honey. You got to get it. Okay. Read Jamie's line. Okay. I got to. Wait, where all are the way we? up. Um, I think right there. Oh, I think I rolled my ankle just looking at. <laughs> this is like processing. Like when Pandora was processing. Pandora, where have you been? Pandora must have fallen asleep or something. Oh, she hasn't really said much, has well, she? They were having trouble with the. Um, uh, oh. with the, the Whatever those things are. Oh, the, the comments? Thank you, the comments. But oh. I think it's because John probably is stealing Facebook illegally. All right, I'm going to put my meme back up because you totally ignored it. And I did. I, thought I it apologize. Was... I, I searched. There were too many lines. I'm watching two things at once. Right. It's confusing. Because we've all done that. When you have to <laughs> run outside, but you just, there's no shoes, so you just grab whatever shoes are there. Isn't <laughs> that so perfect? Okay, the other day I was getting in the car with two totally mismatched shoes on. <laughs> totally mismatched. Totally. Not even close. Not even like, yeah, it was dark and I couldn't see. Nope. nope. I got a white one and like a dark green. Yeah, nothing. See, and the socks with the sandals. See, there you go. Yeah. There you go. There you are. Linda Putt says, my husband does. Does uh, that, it's so funny, uh, socks with sandals, yeah. Jamie, what the heck? The rest of us will be here forever losers, the other best <laughs> says. Pandora has been processing, she just said. Oh, honey. did so, she see? She's processing. Yeah, she's it's processing. It's a lot to take in. Okay, Michael will help her out with the secret info for sure to become a top fan. we got to get Jamie in the top fan list. Oh, wait a minute. You, should we replay your shoe contest? Yes. Did anybody We're win? We're going to redo you? the contest. and Yeah, it's not really a contest. Oh, There's okay. only like five or six people. But if you want to pick a winner, Heather Carter just joined. That's awesome. Heather, welcome to the show. Now we got to back everything up and do it all over again because Heather finally joined. I don't think everybody wants to see the show. I don't think baby. so. Well, I bet they do. No, let's not. Let's not. I think we've covered all of them. We got them all, baby. Did, are you sure? It's, yeah, I'm positive. I, I can don't see, think so. and they're you all. You have a bad attitude today. <laughs> show the video. Roll the tape. Okay, wait. Hang on. I lost it. I, it was called. You have one job. Oh, the honey. shoe show. Shoe show. Shoe show. This is our advertisement for the shoe show. Those are my shoes. Those are Linda Putz's. Uh, Lydell's shoe. Uh, Pandora's shoe with her dead dog that's stuffed. Pandora's shoe close up. Okay. Uh, my shoes again. Their shoes all look so clean. Did you yeah. notice that? My shoes again. Uh, John's shoes hey, for at wearing that. at the nursing home. Derek Ditkowski, who is named after me, his middle name. And those are my shoes again. I know. And those, I forgot her last name. I'm so embarrassed. I cannot believe how many. They, they all look like they're brand new shoes. Mine? No. Oh, these you, people. Yeah. yeah There's my closet. Shoes. There's my other closet. So wow, the shoes I didn't show. Mess. I guess I've never really looked in there. Honey, it's because I was pulling single shoes wow. out. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So there you go. There's the shoe show, people. Need to share the show to become oh, a top fan. Oh, is that how it works? Linda just revealed it. Okay, some of you people. We're not going to answer your questions anymore. The people who are not sharing <laughs> did the show. My so, did you say this already? Sorry, I'm so excited to find a place where people speak sarcasm as fluently as I do. <laughs> who said that? <laughs> Jamie. Jamie, where the heck has she been? Jamie, we've been on since like May. <laughs> Honey, we've actually been on since March. No, March. March. Yeah. Yeah. You have to share the show, you loser. <laughs> that was really loud, baby. It was. What yeah, do you that do? That was though? really loud. I gotta wake John up. He's on the couch. Yeah. Heather Carter's like totally impressed. She can't get away, get over it. The only way we can't watch again is his Pac-Man shoe because Jim dropped it to be chased on the floor ghost. It's the floor ghost. I love that. That's what we call it. We call it the slime pit, Steve and I. Where did it go? Oh yeah, it's right here. Uh -huh. Thank you for bringing it back up, Michael. These are my Pac-Man shoes. Try to take it in, people. JJ, can you see it? I'll try to get it without a glare. See the little Pac-Man? See, right over there. I know. The it's almost too much, baby. Too it, much. It's too much. It's a lot. And then see it says Pro Kids on the bottom. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Again, JJ, oh, no Quinn's broken here. toe. Was she, has she been here? Who? Who's here? Quinn's here. Because she wasn't on, was she? Gwen early? has not been on. Yeah. Some, Thursday, the problem with Gwen, Thursday's a tough day for her. It's actually her drinking day. Okay. <laughs> Susan, this is how bad rumors get started. Susan says a preacher in sneakers. Yeah, that was me. You know, a I always wore sneakers. sneakers. Oh. Susan was always rolling her eyes. I was supposed to be dressing up. Good Pentecostal Assembly of God churches in Canada and wearing tennis shoes. Shocking. Megan Norris just joined us. That's awesome. Tiffany Porter. So Jim has 100 shoes. Sonny has one <laughs> pair. <laughs> That's pretty good, too. Mine are not as exciting That's as That's pretty Jim. good. That's for sure. Yep. It's pretty tragic. 
pretty tragic. All right. No, how many pairs you got? I know. I meant to count, actually. Now I'm really kind of curious. I could probably kind of guess. I'd say between 30 and 40 would be my guess. What do you say? Pair of shoes? Yeah. No, single shoes. <laughs> well, actually, I was thinking. I can probably kind of figure out. There's four, five, six, seven. Oh, rows. you cannot. Oh, rows. Okay. Yeah. Maybe eight rows. Well, you might have more than 35 or 40. Yeah. I don't know. They're all like the same two colors. I know. I, it's black and beige and, you know. I got like three. I've never bought black tennis shoes until I met her. No, I got to have black tennis shoes. I got some white ones. I don't think Aaron Free got to really take this pair in. This pair is, this is good. This is, this causes seizures in young children, but we'll do it anyway. There you go, Aaron. Take that in. I know. He bought Sydney a pair. See, people are going to start having seizures, honey. They really are. I think you're right. Like nah, it's, it's yeah, pretty cool. See, Look at that. It's nah, it's not too much. That's it's powerful. It's a lot. And it does a bunch of different patterns, but we won't go through that because it's just, it's too much for this small crowd. They all solid. See? Solid. Tiffany said my shoes are much more exciting. Thank you, Tiffany. Tiffany, <laughs> your shoes are boring as heck. No, she's talking about my shoes. Oh, your shoe. Yeah, well, I yeah. only got one shoe. I got the other pair. It fell on the floor. Oh. Down with the floor ghost. The graffiti. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, Tiffany must have missed this reveal of this other pair. No, I think she was, she's was. she been here. She said one pair. Oh, okay. There you go, Tiff. There's her other pair. I know. I've These would be like real uh, stilettos, I guess. This would have broken uh, Debbie's ankle immediately yeah. just looking Debbie at it. Debbie would always make fun of me and my highness. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what else we got, babe? All right, well, let's see. We did have like one more question, I think. But I Christine kind of says it. she needed the comic relief tonight. Good. Heather says, I can't get past the guitar. Stunning acoustics. Thank you, Heather. This is the guitar Debbie bought me the like two, no, probably four years before she passed away. So I've always kept that. It's a Fender Jazz. This one back here is an acoustic uh, Fender you know, with Koa wood, which is out of Hawaii. This is a Kala or Kala. It's just a ukulele. And this is a Kala ukulele bass, which is really cool. So that's what I got. Oh, I got some other had an update about our godmother. She said, my godmother is speaking a little after the massive stroke and blood clot was removed. It's a total miracle. I saw her a couple hours ago and she recognized me. Praise Jesus and thank you for praying. Wow. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, yeah, we got to pray about her as well. So Gwen tonight and then the other one yeah, was... Yeah, Linda. We had, everybody had some issues recently. Like Linda's mom died and yeah, then Heidi right. getting sick. Oh, yeah. Sunny must wear size five. They look so little. I'm actually, I'm a six and a half. There you go. I, I've, to, I've been but told. But I'm short. I've been told if the heel is higher, she can wear a six. If it's flatter, she can wear seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. Jennifer Erickson's only 4'11. Jennifer Erickson? Yeah. She's yeah, she's a little thing, little thing. She was born at three foot seven and stopped at 4'11. Like oh, the fourth Tiffany grade. said those flashing shoes would go with Gary Kruger's striped outfit. Yeah. I know. You know, we have a picture. We showed it on here one time when I think. I'll, Weren't you all wearing like zebra outfits? Remember that picture? Oh no, what are you reading now? Michael Scott. What did he say? He's picking on me. Roll up. Roll up. Okay, Linda, while Jim may only have one pair of socks, he only wears one sock for occasion. <laughs> there, there all right, that. smarty pants. I got one here. Oh, I can't see it. There it is. It's my sleeve sock. It's got a hole in the bottom. It's got a hole in it. There it is. There you go, people. Lisa Miller's joined. We love Lisa Miller. From up in Indiana. Yeah, Indiana. 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 Stephen Peters just joined. No way. Hi, Steve. That's Can we all brother. just be very serious? My brother Steve is on now. I know. Life is hard. Well, I got to tell you, but it's almost time to go now. It is? is? Well, that's why he's joining. See, he's so excited. He doesn't want this this to end because he's loving his shoe episode. <laughs> Gwen's making fun of my, my feet smelling. Tiffany says, what were you all thinking back in the 80s? Yeah, really. <laughs> what were we thinking? Tiffany, it was brutal. Those were rough times, but it rough. was fun. I loved what you said, Tiffany. Thanks for uh, sharing it. I mean, I, I know Liz put it up first, but your comments about it when you share it were very sweet. But all the people in that picture who impacted your life, that was very cool. And there yeah. were a lot of really powerful people in that picture. Yeah. Myself not included. Yeah. Right. So that's awesome. Hey, guys, uh, we need you to share the program. Our audience is growing, and we need your help to do that. We're going to hit the road a little bit. We have to do the uh, line of the day. Here's we have your, a lot of people. Yeah, so here's your nominees for line of the day, so stay focused. Okay, number one is Linda, where she talked about this is going to be a really big shoe. Pandora, number two, says it's a bright idea. 
with my shoes right. that lit up. Lydell comes in with how great thou art, talking about me doing yeah. that. Yeah, saying that to himself, singing it to himself. Yeah, in the mirror. Yep. Number four is Jamie, where she rolled her ankle just sitting on the couch. Yep. And, and then just looking at my shoe. Yep, looking at this, Jamie rolled her ankle right there. Tiff comes up with she was upset with Jamie. She because Tiffany's never won the award, and uh, Tiff came up. Or was no, it was Jamie that came up with Buffalo Smells like chicken wings. Aaron Free, pause for a moment, comes up. He says he didn't weigh in because of his COVID weight, is what he says. And Susan P. Wells talked about she has no shoes to show because she's in Canada and all they have is snowshoes. <laughs> so again, those are, the numbers are number one is Linda. So give me your answers as soon as you can. Everybody gets to weigh in and we pick the uh, the emotional tooth support winner. Aaron said, a wise old Jew, old Jew once told me he was too poor to buy a cheap pair of shoes. There is some wisdom in that, I got to tell you. Isn't that the truth? Because you, you wear your shoes out. I don't know. I know it's you free. can't take that in. No. Number one, <laughs> number one is Linda. Number two is Pandora. Number three is Lydell. Number four is Jamie. Number five is Tiffany. Number six is Aaron. And number seven is Susan. That's the that most it? we've ever had. Yeah. One is Linda. Two is Pandora. Weigh in, you guys. Two is Pandora. Three is Lydell. <laughs> Jamie is four. Tiffany's five. Aaron is six. Susan is seven. Aaron is trying to recruit the votes. <laughs> <laughs> Vote for Aaron. Aaron says me. Pandora says, you got to figure this out. So Pandora is four. Gwen says Linda and Pandora. Oh, we're going for a double tooth. I don't know. Beth says Jamie. Who else is coming in here? Aaron Free, that's all you got. Somebody sent us something here. Who was it? Jack? No, never mind. I thought it was somebody else important. All right. Lydell says number four. Uh, that would be Jamie. Uh, Aaron says 666. <laughs> oh, my gosh. He's number six. We named Aaron Free number six. You have no idea, people, how perfect that is. Number of uh, Lydell says four. Um, Aaron Free's voting for himself yet again. Gwen says everyone wins a trophy. Jennifer Erickson says Stephen. My brother comes in once every six to eight months he's and he's already, already gone. gone. Yeah. He blew through. He's got worse ADHD than me. Okay, Tammy says she, the white boxes on the side of the Mexican highway, Mexico highway, buried folks standing up has stuck with me for life. Did you tell her that's what it was? <laughs> no, yeah, that's Tiffany. Did yep. he tell you that? Yeah, that was what I said to Tiffany. That's just, oh, I think you did tell me that story yeah. now that you, you just said didn't that. know it was Tiffany. Oh, see, Tiffany. I the love things Tiffany. that he does. It's Tiffany so votes for number five, which also happens to be her number. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, you got to figure out who's winning. Oh, I don't know. I well, thought you were counting. No, how can I count? I got I, don't I got know. dyscalculia. I don't even know how to count. I Tiffany know, says have... number five. Gwen says, where is Bob? We called him. He had a lame ass excuse. It was terrible. He said he was outside work and he looked awful. I don't know. So we're going to have to deal with him when we get there. Okay. Uh, who do you got? I don't know. Four, four. Michael Scott, got to give props to Jamie for her inaugural visit. Michael Scott says, Linda Putt says, me, Pandora, and Tiffany. Linda's voting for three people. So what have we got here, people? Lydell? It's uh, Jamie. Give me if, a if I take out Aaron's many votes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Pandora says he's working OU. Oh, okay. Outside, I'm guessing, oh, she says. Pandora and Tiffany. Jamie says, oh, shucks. So what are we going to do? Who, who's winning, baby? Yeah, I think it's Jamie. It's Jamie. All right. But so I don't Jamie, know if I have all of the comments. So. Well, we're going to go with Jamie. Jamie's going to get the emotional support tooth on her first inaugural visit. And Tiffany, we're probably going to give you one shoe of Sydney, or of <laughs> Sunny's. Sick. Is what we would give. But there's the emotional support tooth. Tell Jamie how this works, honey. I know. So you can possess it until... Monday, and then you have to give it back for the next recipient of the line of the day. Right. But until then, it can emotionally support you. Yes, that's what it's for. And it's right. also 3D. Now, reach your hands towards the screen. Ready? <laughs> oh, there you go. You got your tooth. All right. Thank you very much, people. All, All right. right. We're going to pray for uh, Heidi Erickson. Yeah. And let's we'll continue to pray for Gwen's step, great yes. godmother. And we should pray for the Soderlands. They might yeah. be doing the funeral. I'm wondering now, if maybe. the funeral. I didn't yeah. see that on their Facebook page. but No, that I didn't either. Yeah. You guys, thanks for joining. Again, share the program. Mm -hmm. And if you would, share it from the Jim Peters page the. that helps us because we can count the numbers and things uh, that helps us with uh, promotion and stuff like that so we're going to pray for uh, Heidi Erickson we're going to pray for um, Gwen's family as well right yeah right it's Gwen's mom correct Gwen's uh, stepmom oh, or step godmother. godmother godmother okay yeah so Jesus we bring these needs to you tonight for Gwen's family and for the Erickson's as well that you would be near them we don't know all what's happening we know they're in good hands father but we ask for your will to be done 
We ask for peace among the family. We ask that you would help the families to really bond through this process, Lord, and everyone would grow closer to you. Lord, we bring our country to you again. It seems like it's being divided even more, and it's crazy, Lord. And we need your help. We need your uh, peace and understanding to reign in Jesus' name. And you're not the author of this chaos, but Lord, your glory can come through this chaos in Jesus' name. And so we ask that you give all of us peace tonight. Thank you for the laughs that we had. Continue to grow this little program so we could reach a lot of people with just the joy of the Lord. In Jesus' name, and everybody said? Amen. There you go, kids. All Gwen, right. keep us updated. Tiff, we love you. Congrats, Jamie. Beginner's luck. That's right. Tiffany will get there someday. Aaron Free wants to know if it's the or the. Oh, it's just the. Yeah. It's really the Jamie. Thank you, Aaron. Years. Good point. All right. All right, guys. We're checking out. And what is the last thing we're doing? We're showing my shoes again. Jim's shoes one oh, last time. You went to? Sure, one. Is that not. what you went to? Jim's yes, shoes. It was a very expensive video. All right. The we film love you guys. Came out. Here's my shoes, guys. Jim's so, shoes. Yep. Next broadcast is Monday. Maybe we'll do autographs Monday. I don't know. Do you think the people that like that, they can hear us, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so we could do that be a lot of fun so, we love you guys yes we love some of you we love some of you <laughs> and now you get your little ending to do it's right it's so wrong on so many levels it's, it's almost just over. wrong oh we're, you're ending yeah sorry don't sorry. apologize this is the way we run we'll go to we'll go to our commercial that michael scott put together michael oh. scott Productions. michael scott free oh that's right <laughs> <laughs> and then that's all folks that's it kids that's all it didn't go to it